This video might be 126 versus 131. So this bike, just if you don't know the Chieftain, I'm gonna just quick go over a few things. Yeah, that was a video. Yeah, 126. Yeah, how much does it go? <laughs> All right, people, look, here I am riding fish in the house. Um, I come to you with something a little bit different. What's not different is I'm here in Indian Motorcycle St. Paul. If you can see my reflection in the, in the window, I'm talking to you. Listen, my bike has 6,000 miles on it, so I'm going to do the oil change. But before I uh, do, or while the oil change is happening, I'm going to go to lunch. But I'm walking up and down this, and I'm like, what bike should I take? Should I take this badass Challenger right here with this sweet Clockworks windshield and the KST bars? I'm like, yeah, maybe. Should I take this trike right here and see where I'm going to be riding here? Uh, who knows how long, but someday I'm going to be on a trike. If you say it's trike or two wheels or nothing, you're crazy, because at some point, you're still going to want your hands in the air, and you're gonna want the wind in your face. So, so I'm walking up and down this bad boy, and I see over here a 111 Springfield. I'm like, yeah, that looks, that looks money. I kind of like the color. It's a classic, obviously. Um, I'm digging that. It, I, I dig the color. I don't really, I'm not a huge fan of those fenders. Then I come over here to this Chieftain. Never been a big Chieftain guy. Has the 116. I'm like, hey, I already established that I like this blue. Then I kind of come over here, and something's different about this bike. Yeah, look at this sign. It has Lloyd or Lloyd's Garage, 126 big bore motor. Look at that. I have never rode any Thunderstroke with a big bore. Well, today's the day, and I'm going to bring you all the information. Um, with it. So I've never rode this. I'm not a, I haven't rode a ton of Chieftains. God, this bike is a good looking bike though. Hang on, I'm going to turn Gabe in uh, here. I'm with my big bull. I'm with. Car, I'm on. Open mesh. Uh, Gabe, you here? Channel yep. nine. Okay. So Gabe is, Gabe's mesh here. Intercom disabled. Bluetooth intercom connected. Gabe, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Gabe is on his road glide with the 131 we already know about his bike it's a badass bike yeah. yes sir <laughs> um i think this is probably silver quartz we're gonna go get some food but damn i just gotta show you guys maybe we should drop some sexy music Let's get it. Let's get on this bad boy. Oh, and Gabe, you're leading today. Yes. Sure. Um, it has us going around and going out that way. Yeah, left. Yeah, left out of here. All right. So this has everything navigation. Uh, did I do it? Sport mode. Sport mode it is, baby. All right. Um, we're following Gabe today. Like I said, I don't know. Put this windshield up a little. All these Indian motorcycles come with electronic windshields. That's a small flex, Gabe. Small flex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I not love sure. my I love my windshield from Freedom Shield. Hey, they make they make it, and also your uh, your shield looks good. That's for sure. So 126. I can't, I wish I could remember the numbers that this has. I'll tell you what, 
I'm going to find out the numbers. Oh, by the way, I'm vlogging straight, re uh, what do you call it, review style. This is my first big board kit. Did you, well, there is, there's only one big board kit right now, technically, for the, for the Power Plus motors. I have yet to be on that one. Maybe sooner than later. We shall see. Well, Lloyd's Garage, they got them for these Thunderstroke motors, like, no problem. Get these tires a little warm. Not, I don't know why I would want to get my tires warm. This bike is a brand new bike, 20, 27 miles. I don't know if giving me this bike was the right idea. <laughs> I mean, I'll tell you this, right now it's completely, it's sport mode, whatever, it's not a hooligan. It's completely bearable, no problem. I have to go in and then all of a sudden it has 300 miles when you come back. <laughs> This has a lot of torque, bro. <laughs> that was a, what were you in at first? Or at that initial pool? Oh, the roads closed? What is this bullshit? Roads closed? So make a right, I guess? A right, left? I it says think? detour left. My oh, bad. detour left? Oh, yeah. Lord. Uh, we got it. We could do it. I'll let you come up on me. Yeah, this baby gets up though. Dang! Our boy knows what he's doing. Nah, they do great job. I think I hit the rev limiter and I think it was in first or second. Oh no, I think it was in second. Yeah, I was in second too. These thunderstrokes, I know they like to short shift a little bit more than the, than, uh, the power plus motors that I'm used to. Ah, oh, this is a... I mean, I'll tell you the biggest difference between this bike oh, and my a, bike. There's a guy on the right. All right, thanks. The biggest difference between this bike and my bike is that it feels way smaller. So a smaller statured person. Yeah, I think your bike, is that one's a little more in, isn't it? Uh, yeah, this one's very close. Like, I could just touch my speaker grills. Yeah, she is fucking gone. <laughs> She, you, I don't know, maybe you could run it, maybe somebody could run it down, but man, <laughs> on the hook, on the hook, this is it. Dang. Uh, I wonder if I can wheelie this bitch. I'm just saying. Probably can. Probably has enough torque to do it. So I believe I heard Amanda say at one point that they have like 150. If that's true, what did yours put out? Do you remember what it was? On 139? The, that was on the wheel, though. So that was, like, legit 139. No no crank shit. Yeah. So if this is putting out 150, that's impressive for, I mean, five cubic inches smaller. But again, I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised, you know. That's how they do it. Lloyd's Garage, be, they build it out. So. so this is available and for sale. I'm not, I wonder, I have no idea what the sticker price is on it. The cam that they put into it too, that helps that, that engine out a lot. Well, I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure they put the kit, right? So they probably have a yeah. Lloyd's cam. They, and they have, I know they have another bike that has just the cam on it. And yeah, that then, was on the showroom floor. Yep, and then this one has their 126 big board kit. I would assume their kit comes with a cam. I mean, it would make sense. It would make no sense to not have a little bit more lift and stuff, you know? Yeah, that's the only downside about my kit is it comes with their, their Screaming Eagle 515 cam and um, the high flow exhaust, but it still has a catalytic converter in there. Oh, your kit came with an exhaust? Yeah, it came with headers. Oh, the headers. And you have the stock headers on still? Or uh, I they, thought you changed those out. No, they came with... For some reason, I had thought that you had got different headers. So I you, thought about it. I thought about getting an SNS. Yeah. But now I can't afford shit. I'll cut all this part out. <laughs> I mean, well, I don't have to cut it out, I guess. That's what happens when you drop eight grand. Last thing you want to do is drop another twelve or fifteen hundred on a yeah. headers when you already have headers. 
I'm happy where I'm at. No, your bike is fucking great. I mean, I'm a little surprised. I mean, you might be rusty too. Let's be honest. This is your first day of the 2023 season. So I keep getting the Bluetooth saying that it's dropping the the, the mesh. mesh yeah, yeah, you're hearing that too. I'm like, is that me? No, nah, I'm pretty sure that's me, which sucks because that means it's gonna be in this video. So sorry, guys, if uh, you're getting bored. But I'll tell you, it's interesting. I'm riding this bike, and uh, it doesn't feel so. It doesn't feel like ultra twitchy. It's a. It's just got like that kick, you know, that kick in the go. But it, it's not twitchy. A lot of sport modes can be twitchy. This one is not. And I'm in. I am so so impressed. Dude, this video might be 126 versus 131. Not that, I, not that I really want to do that video, but I'm just saying. Mesh intercom disabled. Bluetooth intercom connected. So what this, is it connected to? I don't know. So this bike, just if you don't know the Chieftain, I'm going to just quick go over a few things. I think it has a 5.5-gallon tank. It does have navigation. has all the odd, the, what is this called? What would this game infotainment center is the pursuit mm -hmm. and challenger so you could hook up your phones you can run gopro has apple apple carplay on this bad boy it does not have android auto it does have ride modes so you got tour standard and sport i usually only ride in sport that's it it does have windshield um electronic windshield so right now it was all the way up this one comes with a baby windshield now it's all the way down it does have a horn. It does have hazards, music, obviously, all that. Um, cruise control, yes. This one, I think, has heated grips. It does have heated grips. They come. You can get heated seats for them. Yeah, what else does people want to know? God, most people that are watching this video, they're watching for the 126. Let's just be honest. 126 versus 131. <laughs> I will say, though... Um, these have the stock bars being used to the the upgraded bars that I have it's on like, my... It's on my, not this one, but it's like the next. Okay. Um, having the upgraded bars, having my hands up a little bit higher, I've been a little bit used to that. So it feels a little bit weird, but also um, most people know by now that I have way over 40,000 miles on stock bars. Right here? Yeah, I just park over there. I get a good little walk around the bike. <laughs> get some water on it get to get a good roll I didn't, I didn't need to i didn't need to i i love i love my streak i love my streak ah there it is i love my streak. i don't need no water i'm coming i'm gonna stay there i'm coming to you still okay i'm just checking out their parking lot you guys know i don't ride chieftains very often so i'm just trying to get a good feel fuck me what a i'm i'm uh, i'm impressed i'm i enjoy it that was fun Holy crap. <laughs> 126 versus the 131. Thunderstroke. I will say it doesn't feel super hot, which that could be because it's only 74 degrees outside or whatever, but hey. Sad, right. we only went like two miles. <laughs> let's go. Let's go eat. We'll uh, check back this video um, when we're done eating. A few moments later. Recording. All right, I'm recording. I'll tell you, there's nothing <clears throat> like the sound of a Harley Davidson starting. It sounds so good. I've told you that a million times. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Right. I will say it, there's a actually a pretty big difference in the front suspension <clears throat> on this than my Pursuit. I thought that was kind of interesting on some of those roads that we were on earlier. So, guys, I'm back with Big Gabe. We just ate. We're leaving now. We had some sushi. Um... So I was able to get some of my thoughts together. And my thought is that I'm so impressed right now by this 126 because I believe it has about 150 or so a few pounds of torque. And it's not wild. It's not buck wild where it's almost unmanageable. And that's what impresses me the most about this 126. If it is, if it really is 150 if it's not 150, I'd be surprised because it, it launched pretty good, huh, Gabe? Yeah. 
But yet, it's pretty chill. We're going to get on the freeway right now. Well, at least we think we're going to. The right right here? No. I guess not. Um, we're going to get on the freeway, so we're going to get a little merge going. See how that goes for us, and then... And then go back. Go back to the his house. My bike should be done. Get an oil change. I think right here should be fine. Sounds good. Let's do it. Yeah, this is an easy bike to ride. I don't know why, but it feels so much small. I mean, feet-wise and stuff, it's definitely a little less stretched out than the Challenger or the Pursuit. But it feels a lot more like your bike, actually, when I've sat on Street Glides, Road Glides. But yeah, I mean, you can get to, I can get to the freaking fairing with my hand. So it's definitely has a much closer feel. Well, it is closer. Like just point blank, it's closer. Also, I think that Chieftains and uh, Roadmasters don't have traction control. Just throwing that out there. That's a Challenger Pursuit thing. I think it is too, yeah. Yeah. Think a right. Oh, that's a hell of a hole. Doom! I bet there's lost children in that hole. <laughs> Someone had to fix their suspension. Yeah. When we're merging, we're gonna go. You're you're good with that? See how they line up a little bit? Ooh, green light. K kinda. Green light, homie. The green light! What the fuck you doing? Uh, hang on, let me stop at the green light. Apparently they never played green light, red light, green light growing up. I will say this about this too, is that it... You can feel it shake a little more. Oh yeah, well they have, um, what like they use... The motor mounts are rubber to keep the shake, right? Yeah, where they... Indian has made that conscious decision. Victories were the same way. They do not shake. Yamahas, they don't fucking move at all. <laughs> you remember the, like, Raider and stuff? That bad, yeah. those were, like, just sitting there, like, well-oiled freaking machines. But, yeah, the Harleys, they definitely keep the shake. It'll be interesting if they do come out with a liquid-cooled, if they keep that or not. I would assume they would have to try a little yeah. bit. Yeah, like, with the liquid-cooled for the... Pan America, the Pan America engine is part of the frame. Yeah, it doesn't shake at all, though, right? No. If I remember right. Yeah, it seemed pretty sturdy. So the Sportster S, um, it also is pretty sturdy. What gear are you in? Uh, second. All right, cool. Me too. That one, we romp on that shit here in a second. I'm ready when you are. One, two, three, go. Up, I got some buffeting. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, okay. She's a fucking ripper, man. She's a ripper. I wonder what she does against the Challenger. That'd be an interesting run. With your head all of a sudden just doing this. <laughs> ah, I mean, I would say this is right up there with that 131, the level of the 131 on the. The Screaming Eagle 131, that is. Because you have the Screaming Eagle set up just to be, like, come, uh, right there. I and I don't know what bike is, you know, you're a, by the way, this makes a big difference, but you're a heavier guy than me. So that would give me an advantage, realistically. I think it's a nice exit, right? Oh, yeah, it is. I'm over here thinking about all the analytics of the world. I'm solving the world's problems right now. One pound at a time. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you look at the racers and they're all little tiny skinny guys. Yeah. Yeah, because I believe they say every seven pounds is like one horsepower on the top end. Something like that. It's the same thing with jockeys. 
I mean, it make it makes sense. I mean, yeah. obviously, you're moving less weight, but I just for the purpose of this video, I'm just telling everybody, you have the Screaming Eagle Harley Davidson 131, Screaming Eagle tuned. This has the Lloyd's Garage 126, um, and Lloyd's tuned it, I believe, with the Dino Jet, and it runs really good. But comparison where you and I are pulling next to each other, um, you're heavier than me. And I don't know. I mean, I feel like that sec that first time I walked away from you pretty good. That second time was a uh, th that second time um, we we're a little bit higher speed when we cracked it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that was a little bit more mid range, which we know that that motor it benefits really well in that mid range. And you may have started walking on me, and then you braked to go. You slowed to get into the faster lanes where I just went around the guy in the slow lane. But yeah, I'll end this in front of the bike. Um, it runs really well, I, I gotta say. I mean, it, it's like just even. Any, yeah, any rigor in it, I probably would have walked them. Oh, yeah. Like a 116? Oh, yeah. yeah. A, a 116, you would have. You would have just. Sorry, dude. See you later. See you later. You know, they're putting these 126s in the Chiefs? That's freaking crazy. I will say that. That's crazy. Jeff. You sent me a ripper. That bike runs. Um, so Gabe's a little heavier than me, but I hung with his 131. Did you? Yeah. Nice. May have walked a little bit. <laughs> that mid-range, he probably had me, maybe. That's debatable. But low end, no. I it was That's there. Like, yeah, that was a ripper. Out 126. Yeah. How much does it go? Do you know? No. So, so if you guys, this we're gonna end this vlog, but <clears throat> if you guys need to call Jeff or Amanda about the Chieftain with the 126 that you saw on Fish's channel. Right. Yeah, yeah, because it's a, it's a ripper. You know what, I'll tell you what I found most impressed by it was that when I was getting on it, and I had told Gabe this, when I was getting on it, my first thought was like, oh shit, I'm about to jump on a rabbit animal. I'm gonna be hanging on for my dear life. But I actually feel that <clears throat> I actually feel that it's really manageable when you don't want it to be crazy, right. you know? Like it's, you can just go to the grocery store and go to the gas station, you know, gas light to gas light or gas station to gas station, whatever. And it's super chill. But man, when you're ready to crank it, it goes. Yeah. That was very impressive. I thought you might like it. Yeah, well, I appreciate I appreciate you letting me do a test ride of that vehicle. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Um, here, Indian Motorcycle, St. Paul. Call Jeff. Call Amanda. Just give them a call, whoever answers. Tell them you want to talk about the Chieftain and with the 126 and Fish's video. I kind of recommend it. At least come on down and can people test ride it? Absolutely. Yeah, people. Absolutely. Come test ride anytime. All right. That's one thing I love about this dealership is they're all about letting you, let the bike sell itself. You come down, they'll put your butt in the seat. You make the decision for yourself. It's your money. Spend it what you should spend it on. So 126, guys. That's it. Till next time. Ride hard. Ride fast. Say hi to somebody you don't know. Peace. <laughs>